Now at six, our defenders team learning that Charlotte City leaders are hitting the brakes on a plan to bring red light cameras back to the Queen City. Today, CDOT presented their new traffic safety program called Vision Zero. Red light cameras weren't included. Instead, they recommended speed cameras. So we want to know, do you think speed cameras would make Charlotte area streets safer? Head to our website, WCNC.com slash vote or our app to let us know what you think. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is live at six for us now. Alex, do we know why the focus has changed now to speed cameras? Well, sir, it all comes down to the data, what we're talking about. CDOT says that speeding has proved to be more deadly on Charlotte roads than people running a red light. It's not hard to spot drivers running red lights in the Queen City, but getting caught by our camera doesn't get you a ticket. As for red light cameras, well, today CDOT seemed to speed right by the idea. I have a concern as to whether we've really looked at it. Mayor Pro Tem Julie Eisel heads the Public Safety Committee. She's been pushing for the city to research the idea of red light cameras. Other cities are using those cameras um, to reduce, and they've shown that they've reduced injuries and fatalities. But today, CDOT instead recommending speed cameras in their Vision Zero Action Plan. It's meant to eliminate deadly and serious crashes altogether. 45% of all of our fatal crashes involve speeding as a component. That's compared to about 5% of deadly crashes involving running a red light, according to CDOT. Did that play a role in going for the speeding cameras versus the red light? Certainly the, the emphasis is putting those items that are most important and most critical uh, to the top. Red light cameras were used in Charlotte between 1998 and 2006, but the city suspended the program amid financial concerns after a court ruled the city had to give almost all of its proceeds to schools. The debate over red light cameras re-emerged earlier this year as the number of deadly crashes increased. Why were the red light cameras uh, not part of the discussion? And so I would just say, you know, at this time it hasn't made its way to being a focus area. CDOT says speed cameras would require action from the state legislature, which could take some time. Have to uh, get some new legislation to allow those on city streets. Moving forward, Mayor Pro Tem Eiselt says she wants both speed and red light cameras to be researched. Well, I'd like to look at both and what's most effective. I'm told the Public Safety Committee will meet on the issue again next month, and then they'll decide whether it goes to the full city council. Live in Charlotte, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.